So just a few months ago, we have Video2, which is an AI that is able to create a video using a text prompt. So this model was created by Google and uh, it was actually amazing in many ways. It is better than existing models at the time like Sora and many others. But unfortunately, Video2 is limited to only certain number of people and it is basically invite only. So most people just cannot use it to generate a video. But just today, apparently now VO2 is available for everyone. So you can navigate to Google Air Studio, which I'm going to leave the link in the video description. And then you'll see that this is actually a new user interface. Uh, previously, it wasn't like this. This one looks way better. And I think they made some major improvements on how people could interact with uh, some experimental features from Google. Now, uh, about video. There is a menu called Video Gen, and this is apparently where you can uh, create a video using a text prompting. Now, if you want to create a video, you have to you know connect your Google account to Google Air Studio. Just click anywhere in this area, and then it will uh, show you a message telling that you have to connect your Google Drive account with your Google Air Studio. And after that process is uh, very straightforward. And after that, you should be able to create a video. Now, honestly, I haven't tried making videos, so this is going to be my first time creating a video using VO2 via Google Air Studio. Okay, so here, I guess I want to create a video. Um, let me think. Create an animation video of someone doing yoga on top of the roof. Okay, let's try that. And I guess I'm going to just run the prompt oh by the way there is actually a setting right here you can click on this menu and there are some settings that you can modify you can change the model if you want but right now it is only vo2 and there is also the option to uh, make the number of video to be sorry the number of generation to be up to uh, twice that much so only one or two aspect ratio duration i guess just five seconds i cannot change the frame rate and the resolution there is also the option for negative prompting but i think that's optional now i'm going to send this prompt and let's see what kind of video that i could see based on that prompting so i don't know how long this would take but typically when you want to use ar to generate a video it's usually going to take five to ten times longer so if you want to create five second video that means you have to spend you know 25 seconds up to 50 seconds or maybe a minute for just creating that five second clip so i don't know whether this is going to be quick or very very slow so i guess i have to wait and i will just skip forward when it finished all right so it wasn't actually one minute it is more like 35 seconds something like that and this is a video i asked to create animation but this is more like a, a real life video but that's okay let me play this and well it looks all right it looks great it looks so realistic uh someone doing yoga on top of the roof so i suppose this is the rooftop of a skyscraper which is technically a roof but i was expecting to be uh, roof of a house so I guess it's still a roof technically and also this is not animation and that's probably something that AI is not very good at sometimes it is created something that you didn't ask but I'm quite impressed with this result okay how about something else let's try uh, let's re let's create a different video general video of a dog chewing his toy Let's send a message again. Well, there's this message. Your prompt is being queued. Your generated video will appear here shortly. I believe there are lots of people creating videos at the same time. And given that it is free, it makes sense to assume that we have to wait quite a long time. So I'm expecting that Google might have VO2 in you know, some sort of premium plan in the Google One subscription. So people could enjoy this feature without having to wait. But we have to wait and see. All right, so it was less than 30 seconds and this is the video. Wow, it is so realistic. You can tell that this dog is chewing the toy and yeah, it's quite realistic. I mean, it, I, I can see that it is definitely not real photo because there are some details that are missing. Uh, the fur doesn't feel detailed at all. It's kind of blurry, which is a typical characteristic of 
uh, content made by AI but if you just you know play it maybe for five seconds people probably won't easily notice that this clip was created by AI so it's it's really amazing but now I want to try something else so apparently you can upload a picture and then I guess turning a picture into a video so I have a few pictures that I want to test let me just upload the picture so this is a picture of someone uh, in a party situation I actually created this using AI so let me just send the message oh sorry I think I should not include that with this prompting uh, let me cancel that and let me just try again so there is no prompting and I'm going to wait until it finishes all right so this is the result let me open it yeah it's really good it's quite realistic uh, i would expect that this is uh, some something that people would do when they are taking a group selfie so yeah i'm quite impressed with the result given that it is very quick and it is free but i have another test to do so in many of my videos i tested a lot of different ai tools when it comes to creating a photo of someone pumping a bicycle tire which is kind of easy to understand like you will know if someone is inflating a bicycle tire but ai is always struggling to mimic that or create a photo or perhaps a video so i want to upload a picture a real photo of someone inflating a bicycle tire and then i'll see if uh google can actually sorry google videos can actually understand it generate a video of someone inflating a bicycle tire should be here and there you go let me send the prompt and the waiting game just began again all right it is done and yeah let me play this video and hopefully it resembles uh, someone actually inflating a bicycle tire so let me play this video and okay okay you have to push that okay i don't understand what it was like what is this guy's doing there's not something that you you can do when inflating a bicycle tire so yeah i mean i can see that the physics is actually pretty good i can kind of feel that this pose is flexible or something and you know it doesn't feel stiff or it doesn't feel too uh, liquid either so it's kind of correct it's kind of rubbery but yeah it's not doing anything it's not exactly doing uh, the thing that i want uh, this person to do but i'm still impressed by the result i think it's really amazing you can tell that it's very realistic if there is no error like like the one like this guy is trying to pull something from the handle uh, probably can come across as a real video so yeah go ahead and try this vo2 image uh, sorry video generator on google air studio which again i'm going to leave in the i'm going to leave the link in the video description but anyway if you find this video to be interesting or if you want to see more amazing air tools in the future then feel free to subscribe to this channel and i'll see you in my next video